Uh, first of all, I just appreciate our being here and you know, the interest you know, all of you show in our program and uh, more importantly, the just commitment, the coverage that you give uh, all year round. I know our fans really appreciate that and enjoy that. So, uh, you know, again, appreciate the work you put into it. Uh, I've been told we have 22 days, days till, uh, you know, game week. So I guess that makes sense. And 138th year of uh, Hawkeye football at Kennedy Stadium. So pretty, pretty significant. Obviously not every year in this uh, stadium, but uh, the great thing about new seasons, you know, it's a new opportunity, it's a new year. Uh, that really began for us in January, but uh, you know, it's a new new opportunity for everybody. I think that's the exciting part as we get ready to move forward. Uh, just, you know, a couple observations about camp so far. We're eight days into it. Uh, I think the effort has been good, pretty consistent in that regard. Uh, like like anybody probably at this point, you know, we're not, not where we need to be technique-wise and execution-wise. Uh, but like, I like the effort, and as I've been saying, pretty much on a steady basis, uh, the leadership base on this team has been really impressive. And yeah, part of that, you get eight guys back uh, in January that maybe uh, we weren't counting on. So certainly uh, that's part of it. But the older guys are really, I think, doing a good job of setting the pace, you know, showing younger guys how to work. And, you know, we got a couple tiers with the football team. So uh, that's just part of it. And, you know, this is, to me, just really where teams kind of get shaped and get molded. Uh, it's a great time, great opportunity, basically. You know, the players uh, get up in the morning and they're either heading to a meeting or uh, heading to a lift or heading to practice and then they eat in between and find an opportunity to sleep too. So it's pretty simple, not a lot of distraction. And, you know, if a guy will want to play it, play it right and, uh, you know, take their day to day in a, a good way, they've really got an opportunity to grow. and and get better and uh, certainly that's that's important for our football team if we're gonna uh, be where we want to be when we get going here so uh, things haven't changed much since last time we talked in terms of the makeup of our team defensively uh, we're about as veteran as I can remember and part of that you know six guys coming back in January coaching staffs in place and uh, you know we're pretty set there not, not a lot of change in that regard and, and so far, again, the guys are off to good start. Like guys know what to do, and it's just a matter of you know, doing a little bit better, a little crisper. Uh, but you know, moving forward there offensively, you know, very different uh, uh, in a lot of ways. You know, new system, new uh, coordinator, and uh, a couple new position changes with uh, Tim and, and John Budmeyer joining, uh, taking the receivers. So you know, a little bit of change there. Uh, but we are a little bit more veteran than we've been, and that's I think encouraging. It's certainly going to help us. Uh, probably as veteran up front as we've been in a couple of years, so I think that'll help a lot too. But uh, you yeah, know, all in all, it's so far so good. The guys really worked hard. I think we're uh, gaining ground now, and uh, we'll need every rep between now and the first game just to have a chance to be ready. But uh, I think the guys are doing a good job there, and then special teams. It's a little better mix, you know. Again, with uh, you know Drew Stevens back, Luke Elkin, uh, and then you know Wiggers back there returning punts, Dale Johnson returning kicks. Uh, but the punter part, that's, that's a new, uh, you know, move, new moving piece. Reese is doing a good job thus far, and uh, certainly Lamar has done a nice job uh, working with that group. So, uh, yeah, we're up and running right now. Still a lot of work to do. Uh, then just a couple things about the coaching staff. Uh, Phil Parker, I, I don't think will be out there today. Uh, he did make an appearance this morning. Uh, you know, sorry to report uh, that he had shoulder, a shoulder repair done yesterday. He had run into uh, a couple weeks ago or a couple it feels like a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago, maybe less than a week. And, uh, you know, long story short, I think he might have had some pre-existing damage in there, but uh, they had to address that. So he had surgery yesterday, did show up today for practice. I'm not sure if he was on the planet or not, but he was there and, uh, and watching. And he's going to be a little bit more honorary than normal probably for the next couple of weeks, but uh, I don't think he'll be here this afternoon. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. And the biggest thing right now is we just got to keep him out of harm's way, try to keep him out of the way. Uh, so he's not doing too much. Uh, Seth Wallace, you know, talked about his change in the out of season, and uh, right now he'll he'll oversee the defense. But things run pretty smoothly with without Phil, and we could get him back here full time. And then uh, the other announcement, just to make, Tyler Barnes has a new title as football chief of staff and general manager, which is kind of the vernacular, I guess, across the country now. But uh, the, basically, what it is, it's just a reflection. Uh, of his changing job, the changing role, and I think probably the bigger picture is just the changing of college football, the way things have changed. And, you know, we still play 11 guys. I think it still takes the same amount of guys to coach, although when we did add uh, the extra coach a couple years ago, that, that was a smart move. But, uh, uh, you know, the coach was still coaching. 
but what has changed is the world of you know recruiting, and that was even a challenge 25 years ago. Pat Murray was our recruiting coordinator, and first year, I mean, had a hard time getting out of the office with all the paperwork that has to be done, all the bureaucracy when it comes to recruiting. So it was pretty obvious at that point we're going to have to change our approach. Uh, we've done that, and that's kind of evolved. I never dreamt we'd have a social media department, but we do, and uh, you have to. So I get that. Uh, it's the same thing, you know, going back to Tyler. Tyler basically is really uh, helpful in overseeing our entire personnel group. Used to just be recruiting. Now you got NIL, you got NIL, you got Portal. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of moving pieces, and uh, you know, having him in place really allows me to uh, do do some of the things you know I want to be doing. And I think the other thing I would just mention. The recruiting calendar has changed a lot, certainly different than 25 years ago. I would say different than five years ago. So with all these changes, uh, you know, the work that Tyler and his staff do is really uh, critical because it allows our coaches to actually coach the guys that we recruit to come here. And when we do recruit players, uh, we promise them and their families that we're going to try to coach them and try to move them forward. To do that, you have to be here and you have to be present, you know, mentally and physically. So, uh, it's really interesting how things have shifted a little bit, and I uh, think it's a bigger challenge now than ever. So, uh, I really uh, want to give compliments to our personnel department. They're doing a good job and uh, allows the coaches to do, you know, I think, what they enjoy the most and hopefully what they do best. So, yeah, just in closing, again, just, uh, you know, new team, new time, new, new team, new opportunity. We are a different team than we were in April, and uh, a lot, lot's happened since then. Guys have matured, worked hard. And now the challenge is to get a little bit more cohesive, uh, you know, tighten down the execution. We got a lot of work to do, you know, between now and game day. Uh, but again, just I think we're on a good path, and you know, got plenty of work to do. But I like the guys we got. So.